folks. Welcome to Bernie Love TV. Julia Fox says she lost 15 pounds while dating Kanye West and calls him the ultimate stunt queen. Let's see what's going on and let's see what she means by that. Julia Fox is revealing more details about her whirlwind romance with Kanye West. The uncut gems actress, 32 years old, spoke about the criticism she received after being linked to the Donda musician, 44-year-old Kanye West, in an interview with the media. It's not real, said Fox. It's only happening on the internet. I'm not actively engaging it. I don't feel it. I'm still a thousand percent me. Nothing's changed except I will say having been around Kanye was like a crash course on how to be famous. The pair met in Miami on New Year's Eve and on Valentine's Day, a rep for the media confirmed in a statement, Julia and Kanye remain friends and collaborators, but they are no longer together. Well, I think we all knew that that probably wouldn't last. <laughs> it's not a shock. Okay, so my commentary on this... I'm not finished with, you know, telling you everything about the story, but I'm still going to jump in and give my commentary a little bit here. This is not a surprise to me that they didn't last. Nobody is going to last with Kanye right now other than Kim, but that's only if she'll have him. Like, he can't see himself with anybody else, even though he's trying to fool himself to make it seem like maybe he can get over her by dealing with others. That's just my opinion. He's still obsessed with her. Hell, he bought a house right across the street from where she lives. He's now dating a lookalike, a Kim Kardashian lookalike. That's somebody that's obsessed. These relationships he's having are just not going to last. I mean, I hate to sound negative. I really hate to sound like a pessimist with this, but it's just like, I can't see. That's my honest opinion. I cannot see... Kanye moving on with anybody else when he's still obsessed with Kim Kardashian. Okay, so moving on, suggesting that Julia and Kanye's schedules were very busy played a factor in their breakup after spending about 15 days together. See, it didn't even last long. It didn't even last a whole month. Fox said, I tried my best to make it work. I already had a jam-packed life. How do I fit this really big personality in an, to an already full life it just wasn't sustainable. I lost like 15 pounds in that month. Yeah, I can believe it. Um, it's been said by several people, um, including Kim Kardashian, that Kanye's very controlling and demanding. So if he's that way, then how can she fit that into her life when her life is already swamped? It's, it would have been crazy. When asked if they were exclusive, Julia Fox said, I don't think so. Before denying they dated for attention. I mean, I don't know. My personal opinion is that Fox may have, you know, dated for attention, but I just, I mean, come on. I, I really think that um, Kanye is dating others to try to get over Kim. He's so used to her. They've got four children together. They've been married for a while. He, like I said, he bought a house across the street from Kim. And now he's dating a Kim Kardashian lookalike. He's dating to get over Kim. So for him, I don't know if it was about attention. It might have been, but I doubt it. He's trying to get over Kim Kardashian. <laughs> the star also brushed off claims she interviewed to be West's girlfriend as ridiculous, noting that she never signed a non-disclosure agreement. As for whether she and West were officially boyfriend and girlfriend, Fox clarified, I don't think those words ever came out of my mouth, actually. I definitely felt like I was his girlfriend, but it also felt like I was being cast in the role of his girlfriend, and he was casting me. He was the orchestrator of it all. It really did feel like a movie. Now, like I said several times in this video, right, as far as my commentary, that I do believe that West was probably using her to try to get over Kim, I think, let me clarify what I was trying to say. I think that that was probably 90% of his reason. But there probably was another 10% of his reason for show. Kanye West has always got to be looking big. He's always, his image matters to him. But I think in this case, his image mattered, but it was probably just 
maybe 10, I would say 10 to 15% of his reason for fucking around with Fox. I think that um, 85 to 90% of his reason was to get over Kim. He is literally obsessed with Kim Kardashian. He does have an issue with image. You know, he, he has to look a certain type of way because Kanye is very self-absorbed. But I think that, yes, I think that um, most of this had to do with Kim. But I do believe her. I believe what she's saying here. I believe that, you know, she probably did feel like she was being cast in a movie because, like, it, he just needed somebody to play that role to be his girlfriend for image and also to get over Kim. Kim is his whole world. Kim is his fucking life. If he doesn't have Kim, he doesn't know what the hell he'll do. With the exception of using someone else to try to get over her. Okay, so moving forward. Despite parting ways with West, or as she calls him, the ultimate stunt queen, Julia Fox said she's not worried that Kanye West will expose the specifics of their romance. What romance? They were only together for 15 days. I mean, come on now, give me a break. I don't think that he would want to open that door with me, she said. If you come for me, I'm coming for you. And I'm really good at coming for people. I go straight for the jugular. I don't think he would be dumb enough to do that. Uh, whatever. I, you know, I, I think that's just a dumb thing for her to say. It's just, come on, it's just no need for all of that. You weren't together long enough for all of that. I mean, I, I get it. I understand why she's saying that because she's probably figuring with as self-absorbed as he is and as cocky as he is and as much of an asshole as he is that sometimes he probably does that to people and she might figure he may do that to her, but expose her. But what is there to expose? Un unless there was some really nasty, dirty, sexy, sex type shit that had went on in those 15 days you openly admitted that you only fucked around with this guy for 15 days. So what is there to tell unless you were an absolute um, sex slave or slut for him behind closed doors? It's nothing really for him to tell. So I don't see the I don't see the point in really going through all of that. I think that's just not necessary at this point and at this time. Instead, Fox, who said she met West when she was ready to re-enter society after welcoming son Valentino in 2020, saluted him for the priceless exposure he gave her, specifically in the fashion industry. Well, she's got something to thank him for, so that's a good thing. At least she's, you know, mature enough to say that. Look at the big picture, she said. That was amazing for me. Still, Julia Fox is hopeful that she'll eventually surpass the Kanye narrative. Believe it or not, Kanye's not the most interesting thing that's ever happened to me. So she says. All right, you guys. <laughs> Whatever. I've already pretty much given my commentary on this. Um, I wouldn't even call what they had a romance because it was only literally for 15 days. I mean, come on now. Like, come on. Really? <laughs> so, all right. So moving forward. I want to thank everyone that stopped through and watched my video. Thank you so much for taking the time to check me out. And I'm going to wrap this up. If you want to talk about how you feel about the subject with Julia and Kanye in my um, comment section, please feel free to do so. I am about to start working on a video about Kanye and this uh, Kim Kardashian lookalike. I do want to talk about that, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. So come back and check me out. Um, I do videos about my 600 pound life. Um, I also do videos about the thousand pound best friends. That's another TLC, um, reality show about overweight people. And I'm going to be working on, um, some commentary about the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Real Housewives of Potomac, and also, um... Candy Burris from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's got a show starting on Sunday. Um, Candy and the Gang, I will be reviewing that. And also Monique from the Real Housewives of Potomac. She's going to be on OWN this month. She's got, um, she, they, uh, Carlos King has made her a part of Love and Marriage um, DC, a spinoff of Love and Marriage Huntsville. So I'm just telling you guys all of that to let you know. Please come back. I will be talking about these things, these reality shows, and I will be doing videos about more celebrities, like celebrity gossip talk. 
I am on here uh, for that. That's what I do videos about. So, you guys, take care. Um, subscribe. Check me out. I'm more than happy to have you be a part of my channel and you're watching my videos. I'm very thankful that you stopped by to, to check me out. Peace and blessings, you guys. Take care. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Enjoy. Much love.